मॉड्यूल 21 लाइन एचिंग प्रिंटिंग हार्ड ग्राउंड लेयर इज ऑफ लाइट क्रीम टू मेक द ड्राइंग विजिबल स्मोक द ब्लॉक After the block is smoked it will look like dark black draw or trace the design or sketch on the block this sketch can be further improved at the time of the final drawing on the block The process of etching was invented by German artist Daniel Hopfer during the time duration between 1470 to 1536. Along with etching, he also developed the techniques of engraving. mezzotinent and aquint among the intaglio methods of fine art printing now draw the image on the block with the help of pointed etching needle or tools with light pressure The process of etching was more easily adopted by artists and printmakers as compared to engraving. The principal advantage being that very little knowledge of metal working was needed for etching and anyone with a fair hand at drawing could easily practice etching to produce good results. Hence etching became popular. The first dated etching is from 1513 by the Swiss artist Urs Graf 1485 to 1529 but Albert Durer 1471 to 1528 was also making etching about the same time In traditional etching a metal plate usually made from zinc copper or steel is coated with a waxy acid resistant substance called ground upon which the artist draw his design with a metal needle exposing the bare metal as he does so
The plate is then immersed in acid. The acid eats into the metal where it is exposed by the design resulting in lines in the plate. The plate is then wiped clean of all the ground. The plate is inked using the same method as for engraving. Several artists are known to produce unique prints combining various methods of printmaking, like Rembrandt and Francis O. Goya. Daniel Hofer initially used the technique of etching in Augsburg, Germany to decorate armor before actually using it for fine art printmaking. Another noted innovator was the French printer Jacques Gallet, 1592 to 1635, who made significant improvements in etching technique. To begin with, he invented the echo, a type of needle with a slanted oval tip which enabled etchers to produce a gradually rising line. Next, he designed an improved formula for the Vexi ground used on the copper plate. This improvement resulted in deeper lines being made by the acid thus extending the lifespan of the plate and also minimize the risk of the ground being eaten into the wrong areas. Kallet was experimented heavily with the stopping out technique.
This involved allowing the acid to eat slightly into the whole plate before covering it in ground and re-soaking it in acid, a process which facilitated the creation of shaded areas. Keller's advances were published in his manual of etching and disseminated throughout Italy, Holland, Germany and England. In 1746 to 1828 in Spain, Francisco de Goya, one of the world's most influential printmakers, was the undisrupted leader of the Romanticism art movement. In 1799, he produced a series of 80 etching entitled Los Capricos, commenting on a range of human behavior. In 1812-15, following the Napoleonic War, he made a set of acquainted prints called the Disasters of War, depicting scenes from the battlefield. The prints remained unpublished until 1863. Other masters and etchers include Albert Altroffer (1480–1538), the pioneer of copper etching; Pramigliano (1503–40), the great mannerist artist from Parma; Claude Lorraine; Rembrandt; Giovanni Benedetto; Castiglione; and the Dutch etchers Esais and Jan van de Velde. Hercules Sagers noted for his intaglio color etching of the 17th century and Canalito Chiamtasta Piranzi noted for his Cancery de Invention imagery prison scenes the Rococo master Giovanni Tipolo, Daniel Chodwicki and William Hogarth from the 18th century. These artists were followed in the 19th century by master etchers such as Jean Auguste Dominique Ingres, noted for L. Odalis 1825, Eugene Dillard Croix, the tragic French artist Charles Marion, and in England Sir Francis Seymour Hardin and James Neckwheel Whistler. In Germany, the technique was championed by Max Kingler 1857-1920, whose nightmarish prints influenced a number of surrealists. This technique of graphic art is still in practice today but has never been as popular as it was in the 17th century. In America, artists who were important printmakers and etchers included Thomas Moran 1837-1926, Stephen Parrish 1846-1938, Henry Ferrer 1837-1903, and the landscape printer Robert Swain Gifford 1840-1905. 
Jyoti Bhatt. Jyotendra Manchankar Bhatt was born on 12th March 1934 in Gujarat in India and is an artist best known for his modernist work in printing and substantial contribution to the field of printmaking, painting and also his photographic documentation of rural Indian culture. He studied painting under the teachers like N.S. Bandri and K.G. Subramaniam at the Faculty of Fine Arts, Maharaja Sayajiro University, MSU in Baroda. Later, he studied fresco and mural painting at Banasthali Vidya Peet in Rajasthan and in the early 1960s went to study at the Academy di Belle Arti in Naples, Italy as well as the Pratt Institute in the New York. Jyoti Bhatt has completed diploma in painting with graphic arts and post diploma with a specialization in creative painting from the MS University. Jyoti Bhatt's mission as a painter and a graphic artist to preserve and to seek inspiration from the fast disappearing folk art traditions of rural India. He worked as a painter from 1954 to 1969 and taught at the Faculty of Fine Arts in Baroda. He says, I was never interested in studies. You may say that since I was not good for anything else in life, I became a painter. I studied painting and printmaking at the Faculty of Fine Arts Baroda under stalwarts like N.S. Bandre, Sankho Chaudhary and K.G. Subramaniam. In the 70s, I learned the Integralo method of printing and screen printing. Since the 70s, but a member of group 1890 has been inspired by the colorful stylish motifs of cross-stitched embroidery, rangoli motifs and the use of traditional calligraphic ideograms from his native Saurashtra. Deeply impressed by Anand Kumar Swami's book Medieval Shinalse Art, Bhatt realized that folk art has many strands which reinforced one another. Living within a creative network, an individual's artist attains a special stature and refinement. The disappearance of his network with the breakdown of traditional cultures is bound to cause cultural impoverishment, he says. but claims that he has never regretted shopping paintings and taking to photography as an art form. The photo documentation work is equally creative. Also, my work has 
brought into spotlight those umpteen tribal artists who were deprived of any recognition or or a reward he states in his writing about print making processes he emphasizes the versatility of the intaglio process so intaglio process depends on a principle exactly opposite of the relief printing the image to be printed is incised on a smooth and shiny surface of a thin metal sheet usually of copper and zinc images made on it by engraving or scoring the surface with appropriate but rather exclusive tools apart from the skill and experience working directly on the hard metal plate requires muscle power to make a line or mark on the plate as a tool is pushed away this has a considerable effect on the final appearance of the image all engraved lines have very sharp edges and variations in thickness thereby making the image look what somewhat rigid but the image can also be created by etching it out with acid for doing this the surface of the plate is coated with an acid resisting ingredient usually a mixture of wax pine rosin and bitumen the image can be drawn with any kind of pointed tool on the coated surface in a manner similar to using a pen on paper this removes the coating only from the areas where the lines and marks are made when the plate is immersed in acid diluted to required strength it eats away only those areas where the surface is exposed lines can be controlled by making the drawing by using tools of various kinds and sharpness and thereafter with the effect of the acid bath in terms of dilution time and temperature compared to engraving the images drawn and etched in this manner have fluidity and calligraphic character there are several techniques etching equitant dry point mesotint etc used for making matrices for intaglio prints unlike most woodcut print intaglio prints can have minute details subtle tonality and a large variety of textures
Somnath Hor was among the pioneers in India who used this method in quite original way. He had also made blind prints in which the inkless images he printed with from mattresses made on cement slabs appeared as embossed. Although printed by very high tech processes and machines, the most common example of intaglio printing we are familiar with are currency notes printed from engraved plates. Brand names and logos etc. on plastic bags and fine designs on textiles are some times printed by the similar methods known as photogravure. Several photographers had used this during early decades of the last century for giving art touch to their photographs. Some printmakers in western countries are using this but none in India. It was partially Bhatt's enthusiasm for integral printmaking technique which he had gained knowledge at the Tamarind workshop in New York that caused other artists such as Jaram Patel, Bhupen Khakar and Gulam Muhammad Sheikh to take up the same process. Bhatt and his compatriots at the Faculty of Fine Arts in Baroda soon came to be known as the Baroda School of Indian Art. Late in the 1960s, Bhatt was asked to take photographs of Gujarati folk art. It soon became one of the artist's passion to document traditional Indian craft and design work. This disappearing art of rural Gujarat became a focus. Though Bhatt worked in a variety of mediums, including watercolors and oils, it is his printmaking that ultimately garnered him the most attention. With works are in numerous international collections including the Museum of Modern Art, New York, the Smithsonian Institution, Washington DC and the British Museum London. To this day, artist and printmaker Jyoti Bhatt is known for his unique combination of tribal motifs and folk art motifs into the realm of printmaking namely line etching. The tenacity of the edged lines and the detail required for folk and tribal art make the prints in intricate and rare. The subjects explored seem to be contemporary and rural life oriented while the artist aims to capture two aspects of an ever evolving world around him from the yesteryears to the den of today's urban influences. Jyoti Bhatt lives and works out of Paroda. After drawing the black side of the block can be etched, so first cover black side of the block 
with an acid resistant coat, black japan or plastic sticker. The block is now ready to be etched using a nitric acid solution. This is the etching solution. One part nitric acid and eight part water. Nitric acid of 60% purity. To prepare the tin, mix carefully one part nitric acid with eight parts water in a plastic tray.
Now gently and carefully place the block in the acid solution in the plastic tray. It should be noted that for a normal etched line, the duration of soaking the block in acid is 25 minutes. There is possibility of air bubbles forming during the etching process. Hence, it is imperative one removes them using a feather or other such implement at the time the block is being etched. Remove the plastic sticker and hard ground from the block with the kerosene. Now to prepare the ink to be used on the block, black ink is poured onto the inking glass. 
a few drops of linseed oil are added to the ink. Using a brayer or a roller, the ink and oil are mixed on the inking glass. Now this ink is ready to use on the block. It should be noted that the integralo process fills up ink in the block crevices and the upper relief surface should be wiped clean and over the hazards too. The paper to be used to print is kept soaked and blotted half an hour before the print is taken and should be damped when being printed for integralo process. A final registration is made on the machine. Take the final print on the ready damp paper.
make the addition number on the paper. Write all the details like date and signature on the print.